so here we have an example of a cache register okay so we are going to define a class that mimics the functionality of a cache register what should a cache register do you need to add the price of an item let's say you need to get the total amount owed you need to get the count of the items that are purchased uh, and you can clear the cash register for a new sale and so on okay so for each of these tasks you can define a given method so let's say when you add the price of an item right you can add the item and ha you have to supply a price for the other ones you don't need any input parameters let's say right but remember self is required for all methods anyways okay so here we don't list it but when we define it we will write self and then comma price here self 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 will be written okay for example so these things basically define our uh, public interface right meaning that this is my class name this is uh, the function name this is the input that you need to provide this is the function name and this is the input you need to provide. If there's only self, you, you know that you're not going to pass anything, for instance, okay? And what's happening inside, obviously, you'll have to define how this function behaves, how this function behaves. You'll have to write in uh, these lines of code here, right, and so on. But to use the class, you can just, give an object name equals class name remember the counter example you give the object name equals counter similarly you give the class name it will create this register cache register one and then you can call functions for that class so this is basically showing you how or what happens inside the memory so when you say register equals cache register it creates an instance of uh, this class called cache register uh, creates space in the memory okay then when you say register one dot add item so remember there was a self you don't need to provide it but in the definition there will be so it knows that I am calling add item on this object okay with this input and so on So then there are just names, uh, they're called get methods or set methods. Another name is for get accessor methods. For setting them, you call them mutate or mutator methods because you mutate or make a change when you're setting value. When you're getting the value that has been set, you're just accessing it, right? So in our case, to get the total, to get the counts, those are example of get methods that get me the total get me the count right but to set it uh, you can add item or you can clear or you can uh, what was that yeah i think tally counter was a clear that you can or reset you can reset the counter and so on right because you're setting the value of the variable getting the value of the variable versus setting the value okay and like I said, if you do a register two equals cache register, so each of these have their own uh, set of instance variables, meaning same variables stored in different memory locations, and only this object has this value, because this object has another value, and so on. 